With Sooner Nation still stinging from the bite of the Florida Gators and the loss in the national championship game in Miami, OU stepped up into the national spotlight once again on Monday night, this time with Jeff Capel's sixth-ranked Sooners at 15-1, taking on arch-rival Texas, ranked number seven in the nation. Sooner Faithful got some good news early in the day on Monday when sophomore defensive tackle Jerry McCoy announced he'd be coming back next year. But we turn to the round ball. And Austin Johnson, he's kind of a barometer for this team. When he's playing well, OU usually wins. And he hit that three-pointer, yes, OU led 5-0, Jeff. And then Willie Warren finds Blake Griffin for the emphatic dunk. OU's lead 7-2, playing well at Lloyd Noble Center. And how about Tony Crocker finding Blake Griffin... Yeah, he doesn't just dunk. He hits the three-pointer. He was one for one from three-point range. Uh, one was one too many for Texas coach Rick Barnes. Then late in the half, Tony Crocker with the high floater. And OU leads at the half, 38-27. In the second half, Texas would cut the lead all the way down to four. But freshman guard Willie Warren would have none of it. He goes into the lane, gets the contact and the foul and the hoop to top it off. He'd hit the free throw. OU led 54-45. But this is really all about Blake Griffin, isn't it? There's the nice little turnaround. The scouts in the house must be loving that, and his parents can't be unhappy either. And then the bank is always open when you're Blake Griffin, and you're going to be the number one pick in the NBA draft. And he had 20 points, 10 rebounds, and his 14th double-double. OU wins it 78-63, snaps a six-game skid to the Longhorns. I'm trying to win. Everyone wants to make a big deal about bench and starters playing X amount of minutes. We're trying to win games, and our starters can play 40 minutes a game. You know, I wonder if Texas gets that because Abrams plays 40 minutes a game every time. I mean, we get talked about our bench and what we don't do well, and we're 16-1. and one. We just beat a team that we hadn't beaten. You know, we're a good basketball team, man, and our guys can play. They can play 40 minutes. They're in good shape. We have good players on the bench. Patillo's out of the red shirt. He's going to play. We're ready to go, man. I'm tired of all this stuff, people talking about our bench. We're a good basketball team. He talked about respect. When we, um, no, they don't really respect us. And we just went out to make a point that, you know, we are one of the better teams. We feel that way. We feel like we can make a run. Um, I think it gives us confidence, and hopefully it makes, um, you know, other people around the nation, um, you know, see that, that, that we're not just a, you know, mediocre team that, um, you know, we, we've heard so much talk about Texas, um, talk about their big guys, talk about their guards, talk about Abrams. And um, we personally as a team feel like we, we uh, people kind of disrespect us a little bit um, with the way they talk about our guards um, and the way they talk about our post defense or, you know, anything like that. So, I mean, to come out and make a statement like this was big, I know, for us and, and, and as a program as a whole. I want more from them, but these guys have done a good job so far, and I'm really proud of them uh, and feel really good, and we're going to enjoy this. One of the things I think coaches don't do, and I know I don't do it, you don't enjoy wins enough. Man, I'm going to enjoy this one, man. <laughs> you know, we, we hadn't beaten these guys, and, again, it's the first time in my career since my freshman year of college we are 16-1. and one. You know, talk about that. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about this basketball team and where we are right now. So fired up, Jeff Capel will definitely enjoy this win for a little while. And then he's going to switch his focus to Texas A&M and the trip to College Station for a 1 o'clock tip on Saturday. Reporting from Lloyd Noble Center, Damon Fontenot, News OK TV.